All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, if you have been sleeping under a rock and you don't know what's been going on, apparently, my God, Trump, man, they is, bro, they are trying to, they're irritating me with this, okay? Seriously, because I never seen a human being go through so much like Trump is, okay? Trump is going through a lot right now. I mean, he's going through living hell right now okay but apparently they kicked him off the colorado's ballot man and this is some crazy crazy news i said in my last video i never seen no one get kicked off a ballot before however i have never been so much into politics until now so i mean it explains why i haven't seen it but in my last video you guys told me that it was two more presidents if i'm not mistaken altogether three presidents that's been kicked off a ballot before so trump is not the first one but however we're gonna go ahead and get into this video man this is a massive supreme court reversal in the trump case jack smith gave up everything without further ado let's get into the video man Ooh, i'm out of breath trump's lawyer john laro just caught jack smith in the worst web uh, this is going to reverse a lot of Jack Smith's shenanigans at the Supreme Court. But first, welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots all hang out. I'd love to have you as a subscriber, of course. Get us to 300,000. Here's from The Hill. Ex-White House lawyer says Supreme Court could rule 9-0 to zero in possible Trump 14th Amendment case. The former White House lawyer, Ty Cobb, predicted Tuesday that the U.S. Supreme Court could rule 9-0 to zero in favor of former President Trump in a potential appeal of the Colorado Supreme Court's ruling that would kick Trump off the state's ballot. Quote, I think the case will be handled quickly. I think it could be 9-0 to zero in the Supreme Court for Trump, Cobb said in an interview on CNN, adding later, I do believe it could be 9-0 to zero because I think the law is clear. He has more reasons than that coming up. The Colorado Supreme Court issued a ruling Tuesday that Trump should not appear on Colorado's ballot due to his alleged role in the January 6, 2021 Capitol attack. Citing the 14th Amendment Insurrection Clause, the 43 ruling by the Colorado Supreme Court argued Trump engaged in an insurrection by promoting false claims of election fraud and encouraging supporters to go to the Capitol on January 6. Bro. I am sick and tired of this January 6th nonsense. Okay, I'm a look, I get it. You may you could say Trump influenced these people to do, but you gotta understand that people are their own person. Everybody ha everybody is their own individual. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody's their own individual. So for people to go to the Capitol, that was the, that was on their own will. Okay, like if Trump can influence me to do a lot of things, but it's up to me if I want to go do it or not. I mean, it, it should be literally. Bro, a lot of people just don't have common sense, okay? A lot of people seriously just don't have common sense. I am a Trump supporter, but I'm not going to sit there and go to the Capitol and do some dumb things that's going to get me in jail. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't matter who influenced who. At the end of the day, I'm still my own person. I still make my own decisions for my life. I know I am old enough to know what's right for wrong. Okay, I'm not a kid. <laughs> I am old enough to know from right uh, from right from wrong. And these people that went to the Capitol to attack it, they knew right from wrong. It was a lot of grown people. It wasn't no three year olds, two seven year olds talking about Trump, Trump. No, 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 no. It was grown folks doing this. Okay, so for people to continue to say Trump was this and Trump was that and this and that, bro, it don't matter who Trump influenced or not, bro. They still had a right to do it themselves. At the end of the day. When are we going to start holding people accountable, bro? You know what I'm saying? It was their fault that they went up there and, and did the Capitol attack. It, 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 like, come on, bro. Anybody would know. Anybody with common sense would know. You know? Nah, that's stupid. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do that. Why would I go to the Capitol? No, nah, nah, that's stupid. I don't care how much I love Trump. I'm not doing nothing like that, bro. I don't care. I'm sorry, y'all. That, that just I, it's, I keep hearing that in this in this whole little Colorado ballot thing. I keep hearing that same thing. January 6th, January 6th of 2021. January 6th, January 6th. I keep hearing that nonsense, bro. Big deal, right? The Colorado Supreme Court ruled the office of the president falls under the insurrection clause, and that's where they have a problem, which states that those who previously took oaths to support the Constitution as a, quote, member of Congress, I want you to notice on all these lists that nowhere in there is the presidency. As a member of Congress, officer of the United States, member of any state legislature, or an executive or judicial officer of any state cannot engage in a rebellion against it. One small problem, John Roberts. This has already been established by the Supreme Court. Quote, the real key issue in this case is 
Trump, is Trump an officer in the Supreme Court in the context in which that term is used in Article 3 of the 14th Amendment, Cobb said. And quote, in 2010, Chief Justice John Roberts explained in Free Enterprise that people don't vote for officers of the United States. Therefore, Trump is not on that list. And most believe that the 14th Amendment intended to not include the president for that very reason. But now let's get to the Jack Smith reversal. Trump's lawyers asked Supreme Court to stay out of dispute on whether he is immune from prosecution. Washington AP lawyers for former President Donald Trump, that's the John Loro in the picture, they urged the U.S. Supreme Court on Wednesday to stand down from a dispute over whether he can be prosecuted on charges he plotted to overturn the 2020 election results. Special Counsel Jack Smith's team last week urged the nation's high court to take up and quickly consider Trump's claims that he enjoys immunity from prosecution as a former president. The unusual request for a speedy ruling seemed designed to prevent any delays that could postpone the trial of the 2024 Republican presidential primary front runner, currently set to begin March 4th until after next year's presidential election. Remember, Trump's strat strategy is to delay, is to win. But Trump's lawyers told the Supreme Court that there was no reason for them to take up the matter now, especially because a lower appeals court in Washington is already considering the same question and has scheduled arguments for January 9th. So this is Jack Smith trying to leapfrog a lower court. Quote, importance does not automatically necessitate speed. If anything, the opposite is usually true. Novel, complex, sensitive, and historic issues, such as the existence of presidential immunity from criminal prosecution of official acts, call for more careful deliberation, not less, Trump's lawyers wrote. This appeal presents momentous historic questions and erroneous denial of a claim of presidential immunity from criminal prosecution unquestionably warrants the Supreme Court's review, the lawyers wrote, but they added, that does not mean that the court should take, quote, the case before the lower courts complete their review. So the Trump team's trying to push it back down to get it reviewed by the Washington court. That'll create too much time, which is why Jack Smith pushed it up. Proving this is political, proving he said that he would treat Trump like any other person uh, under the law, and here he's uh, expediting it, proving that this is not a normal case, and that they're deliberately, specifically, uniquely prosecuting Trump. Uh, the Supreme Court will be deciding this quickly, whether if they will see it or not. Look for them to reject this one and push it back down to the lower courts because they don't want to be pushed around by some little geek like Jack Smith. Again, let me know what you guys think. Will the Supreme Court hear this one or will they push it back down to the lower courts? Don't you worry. The Supreme Court will hear this eventually, but it ought to be after the election in 2024. I'm Doug in exile. Bro. Okay. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, don't you play. Okay, number one, okay, I said this in my last video. I am, I never been so politician and not, never been so much into politics and everything like that. But now I'm just trying to open my eyes up as a young, as a young kid from Chicago. I'm 20 years old. I'm trying to open my eyes up to see what's really going on. And I just don't understand why are they trying to attack Trump so hard. I just don't get it. I truly don't get it. I mean, do we not look at the track record and, th and the things that Trump has done for not, I'm not even talking about black people. I'm talking about America in general because I know a lot of black people want to, well, Trump did a lot for black people. Okay, I get that, but we're not the only race living on America, okay? I'm talking about America as a whole, okay? But I'm just trying to figure out, like, I'm just trying to put it in my head. I'm trying to do all the mathematics. I've never been good at math, but I know that this math right here is not mathing. OK, this whole Supreme Court thing is not mathing. The math does not make sense. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm just like, like, it's like y'all trying to find every single excuse to try to get this man pushed out of here. Every single excuse. Do you not realize that Trump has the best lawyers in town? The best lawyers in America? Come on now. Let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> we talking about a man who came in office who didn't need no money at all, who came in office already stacked up billion dollars. You feel me? I mean, I'm just saying in general, bro, like the fact that y'all trying to get this man out of here, it's, it's crazy to me. It honestly is crazy because I'm learning now 
that a lot of people, they jump on the bandwagon when they see another person hating on another person. Oh, okay. So these group of people hating on Trump. Okay, we're going to hate on Trump too. I mean, you can't even name, you can't even give me 10 things that you don't like about Trump. You truly can't. Anytime I ask somebody who don't support Trump, I say, okay, what don't you like about him? Ah, uh, I don't know. Like, he just, you know, his supporter, like what his supporters got to do with anything. You know what I'm saying? People that support people that support people that does not define who they're supporting. It does not define the actual person that they're supporting because again, everybody's their own individual. I could support somebody, but I could be super crazy in the mind, but I could support them. You know what I'm saying? Because I love them. That does not mean that they influenced or they 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 told me, "Hey, I need you to do this. I'm going to pay you to do." Like, no, I'm still my own individual at the end of the day. Then they keep bringing up this whole January 6th situation. Bro, this is all nonsense, bro. Y'all just trying y'all best. It's like y'all sit around, y'all plotting on Trump every little thing, bro. Every little thing, bro. You remember it's a story, it's 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 a, actually it's multiple stories in the Bible where they will literally the Pharisees will literally sit there and watch Jesus, every move that Jesus do, just so they can make a claim against him and, and really kill him, bro. They will literally do all of that. They will sit there and watch everything that he do, and in the one little bit of mistake, they they, they get him out of here. They get him out of here in a heartbeat. That's like Trump, bro, and I'm not comparing Trump to Jesus at all. I'm just saying the stories is, like, super similar because every little thing Trump trying to do or every little thing Trump does, Trump got to really, he's, like, walking on, like, literally walking on coils right now. Walking on coils, bro. Seriously. Because every they, they just trying to get him out of here for what reason? I don't know. I just don't know. Leave the man alone. Let him get America back great again, bro. Call him racist. Call him a pedophile. Call him all these different things. But at the end of the day, he's 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, or 90 times, 100 times better than Biden. I'm just saying. At least he can stay up doing his rallies. At least he can stay up doing his rallies. At least he know where the stairs are at. At least he's not, all right, America, I got something to tell you guys. Um, something very important. Something very important in America, I got something to tell you guys. Ah, never mind, never mind. And Trump not doing that. <coughs> he's not doing it, but Biden is. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy. but if it does reverse and you know what i'm saying everything goes back to normal like if it does reverse and the whole the whole uh the whole thing just reversed and everything plays out right like it's supposed to i don't know bro i, I really don't know i'm gonna do more deeper research into this and i want y'all to like help me and, and educate me also because this channel is not just for me to be thinking i know everything i don't know everything so that's why i got you guys that's older than me that can give me a little bit of wisdom and then i can take y'all wisdom look it up see if it's true and i can apply it to my life so just let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about this in the comments in the comment section below let me know in the comment okay yeah just let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below man i love each and every one of y'all bro god bless stay blessed peace